Hello and welcome back here at Rose Field for a matchup between the Arctic Altitude and Western Wolves. Major standings implications in this one. The Wolves sitting at three and six, last in the AL. The Altitude sitting on top of the AL at five and four. The Diamonds right in the middle at five and seven. So uh, the series means a lot for all three of those teams, despite two of them playing. What are your thoughts on today's series? Well, I think the key factors for the game are well, one, the Wolves hitting, because if they don't hit, their pitching is iffy. It goes game to game, so if their hitting's on, I think they have a good chance. And the other key factor is if Joey pitches the whole game and he starts off well, I think it's over. Yeah, Joey's been very good since we moved the mound back. That's one series, and he was lights out. He played very well on the mound, and at the plate, he's one of the best hitters in the league. He's putting his name in the MVP candidate hat, basically. Uh, and this is also our first game of our first doubleheader in big league wiffle ball history. Next up is going to be the Panthers and the Cougars. To this day, it's got major standings implications. It's going to be a fun one for sure. With that, let's send it down over for some player interviews. I'm here with Braden Lewis of the Arctic Altitude. What are your keys of the game for today? Our keys to the game today is just to hit, not, not swing at a bunch of balls. And just pitch well. Yeah, and who's your starting pitcher for today? I believe I'm starting today. All right, well, hopefully you guys can uh, beat the Wolves. I want to see it. Yeah. March Madness has its final four. Big League Wiffle Ball has been looking forward to this matchup all year long. The Western Wolves, three and six, but the defending champions against the five and four Arctic Altitude led by Joey Jankowski. One, two to Lewis. Braden, that sinker's working today. Is it the heat? It is down already to Rose, one, two. And that's four straight strikes as Rose retires the side in style. Down go the altitude, up come the Wolves. Great pitch by Lewis, good cut by Tucker. But that's the third straight strikeout to hit, start a pitcher's duel here in game one. That's a walk for Rose. And that's another walk from Lewis. And they are loaded up. It hits the strike zone, Lewis clutches up. Down go the Wolves, and after one, we're all tied. Zero, zero. All over the plate, Jankowski lucky to take first base on that. That just misses two throughout the season. Has got the ball moving a lot. And that is Filthy McNasty, down goes Jackson. In a big moment, Rose gets Lewis, down go the altitude, keeps the shutout alive. Down goes Rose, Lewis starts the bottom of the second in style. Dial that one up with a little heat to match the temperatures outside. And that's a walk for Tucker. 3-1 to Rose, two outs. Just missed outside. Full count. Full count to Tucker. And we have another one of those moments. Bases loaded for the Wolves. Run here for the Wolves could be critical. But it's not to be. Rose goes down on a riser from Lewis. And after two, it remains all tied at Seto. Like Tucker, Jankowski just smiles at being hit in the head. Full count, Braden Lewis against Rose.
And that's strike three on a nasty curveball. Third. Oh, and he hits it back up. But that's pitcher's hand. Tucker hustles down to first. Nice play by Lewis. He rips one down the line. He's all over that. That is a triple. We remind viewers and fans that if it hits the outfield wall on the fly and is unplayable, it is a triple. 3-1 to Tucker. That's outside. Down goes Rose. Great job by Lewis and we go to extras. Just outside, first and second now. And he rips one up the middle! That is still playable! That's still playable! That is pitcher's hand. One run scored. Nice job on a sinker from Rose. The team's had trouble with that all day long. Up the middle, that's gonna... That misses, that scores a run. Hold the ball, two to nothing. First and third. The Wolves will still have a chance in the bottom of the last. That's strike three. Nothing you can do about that, Braden Lewis. Great pitch by Rose. Now goes Lewis, but not without an RBI in this inning, as the altitude take a two to nothing lead to what is potentially the bottom of the last for the Wolves. Oh, and Tucker rips one up the middle. That ball's in play, that ball's in play. There's no throwing up your hands on that one. There is no, this is, oh, he just misses Tucker. He scores, unbelievable. Did not hit the zone or Tucker, hit the bottom of the last. If we have instant replay, we have seen plays overturned on video review this year. Is there any video to review that call? Braden Lewis is asking for video review. We have controversy. We appear to have a play overturned in Big League Wiffle Ball. And that means the game is two to one altitude with two outs. And that's a walk. Three one. Uh oh, as they say. Are they bringing in the altitude, bringing in Joey Jankowski? They are. Heat to match the day. Jankowski versus Rose. Two outs, bottom of the four, first and second. Two, two. Foul! It hit the backstop. I hit the backstop. I believe it hit the backstop and ricocheted to the left. It ricocheted. An incredible game what one. Game. What is, it? is the altitude win a controversial game over the Wolves, bringing the record to six and four as the Wolves fall to three and seven. Game two of this late season set between the Arctic Altitude and the Western Wolves. Can game two live up to game one? That's ball four. And that's ball four. 
Downstairs again, and they are loaded up. What is Tucker looking at? Oh, and he pops it up to Jankowski. Good job by Rose. Nice play by Jankowski. Down go the Wolves. Great sinker. Sunk a little too much on Rose. That's a quick walk. Nice pitch by Rose, gets out of the jam. Just missed, that's a walk, yeah? Okay. Frustration setting in. That is another strikeout for Rose. Visibly frustrated about the turn of events here today. Down goes Jankowski on Rose's patented sinker. Four straight stri strikes to start the series. Beautiful pitch and down go the altitude. Three, two, one out. Downstairs, a good movement. Tucker to first, Rose back up at the plate. Oh, and Rose rips one to right. Out at first, safe at, no, actually that's one out, the ball. Jankowski forgot the number of outs in the inning. Tucker is out at second. We remind you that the count is full with two outs here. And Rose rips one to right, but he's out at first. Bang, bang, play. Good job by Rose. Another clutch effort at the plate, but not enough as we go to the bottom of the last. The walk for Jankowski. And that's another walk for Rose. For our fans around the world, we remind you, in another close game between the Wolves and Altitude, the Wolves have taken a one to nothing lead in the top of the fourth. Bases are loaded, only one out, and they've made a pitching change, bringing in Jackson Lewis to take on Logan Rose. Lefty versus lefty. And that's the second run for the Wolves. Tucker looked at a beautiful curveball. Not sure what he was thinking was coming there. Grand slam from Rose. Wow. And it is six to nothing. Jankowski with a curious play. Could have raised his hands, but chose the more aggressive option. Costs his team a run. What Rose, six to nothing, and they run rule the altitude. And down goes Jankowski on a sidearm riser from Rose. One strike away. And that's it! Who would have thunk it? The Wolves pile it on in the top of the last. They win in extra innings. Six to nothing in a series that continues to be a contender for series of the year.
you're a wiffle ball fan and haven't loved these battles between the altitude and the wolves, you are not a wiffle ball fan. On to game three. In this incredible set between the wolves and the altitude. And that's strike three. Strike three, down go the altitude. One, two. And that hits the top of the zone, showing the young Lewis's maturity on the mound. Kowski get the best of him this time. No, he doesn't. Wow, retirement. It's the best Rose has pitched all year. Good baseball player, good wiffle ball player, poised at the plate, and rips one to right, but the, he is out. We thought the Wrigley Field grass was gonna hold that one up, but Tucker stuck with it. Lewis out at first. And that is the weirdest play. Oh, that hit his arm. <laughs> that hit his arm. That's, did it go outside? Did it go outside the line? It, that was outside the line. it doesn't, it, if it doesn't go outside the line, it's an out anyways. No need to, no need for controversy anyways. It didn't go past the line. And he loads him up. And that's strike three, clutch job by Lewis. The Wolves leave him loaded. Rips one to Tucker and right. Great defensive play. And down go the altitude. That's a walk. 0-0, zero, zero, bottom of the third. Tucker on first, Rose at the plate. And he drives one! Is that unplayable? It's not! They might as well play it! He misses home plate! And that's the game! The Wolves win in a walk-off! That's a triple! Second walk-off of the series for Rose. Unbelievable battle between the altitude and the Wolves. And the Wolves win one to nothing to take the series two games to one.